Hello, my dear friends and fellow intactivists. Today is Sunday, May 10th, 2020. As we struggle through a coronavirus pandemic, I want to offer my wishes for the health, safety, and security of yourself, your loved ones, and your communities. Because it's Mother's Day, I also want to share my feelings with you about another pandemic, that of child genital cutting, also called circumcision in the United States, and to reflect upon how this pandemic infects mothers, sons, and family relationships. When my son was born 40 years ago, it never crossed my mind that anybody would cut his genitals, and they did not. 18 years later, while on a weekend road trip, my son told me, Mom, I never thanked you and Dad for not having me circumcised. Thank you so much. He said this even though we had barely, if ever, mentioned the status of his genitals, and even though boys like him were in the minority when he was growing up. My boy, now a man, clearly understood the gift nature had bestowed upon him and that we had refused to take away. That's when I realized I needed to make sure that other moms knew that anyone who tried to tell them they should cut their sons was perpetuating a cultural pandemic, one that has persisted throughout the United States for nearly a hundred years. In more than a decade of leading intact America, I have heard from countless women of all ages about how giving birth to a child, something that should have been purely joyful, was spoiled when somebody offered to cut or cut that baby's penis. My son's circumcision was the worst day of my life, they say, or it nearly ruined my marriage, or I just hope that one day my son can forgive me. I have never, not once, heard from a mother who said she regretted keeping her son intact. I lauded these women for their bravery and speaking their regrets out loud, hoping to make a difference for future moms, future baby boys, and for the men those baby boys will become. At the same time, I am truly enraged that they were persuaded or coerced or even allowed to make an irreversible mistake at a time when they and their babies were so exquisitely vulnerable. If you believe, as I do, that future moms, baby boys, and the men those babies will become should be spared from the circumcision pandemic, then please make a Mother's Day gift to Intact America. IA works every day to spread the word that cutting a baby boy's genitals is not a legitimate act, not a legitimate decision. Please support us so that we can keep dispelling the myths and providing the facts mothers need to keep their baby boys beautiful and whole and to keep their families healthy. Thank you. Thank you so much.